Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt and uh, this is a what sold video for postcards only. Uh, been doing these every week uh, now for, I don't know, I think it's around six months. And uh, I started doing these because there were other YouTubers out there who were putting out this content a couple of years back when I was first starting getting into postcards. And uh, I found that information to be very educational. I learned a lot. And when I went to go look around uh, earlier this year, I didn't see a lot of that postcard, uh, postcard content coming up regularly. So I decided to make it myself. Uh, hopefully you find the information good, uh, you enjoy the videos, I try to make it somewhat entertaining. And if it is your first time here, please consider subscribing, uh, or just hit the like button, leave a comment, question, uh, try to get to all of them whenever I can. Uh, if you've been watching these videos, we've been doing these once a week. Uh, starting today, uh, we're splitting them into twice a week. Uh, they're going to be roughly split by four days and, th and three days, so the first half of the week, the second half of the week, loosely. Uh, there is going to be a gap in some of these videos as I'm going to be traveling here very soon, uh, actually this week. Uh, I will try to have a uh, what sold for Monday through Wednesday this week drop on uh, next Sunday, uh, but then it'll be about a week and maybe a few days before you see another video. Uh, but we'll get caught up. Don't worry. Uh, so for this four-day spread, which is the 29th through the 31st, so 29th of August through 31st uh, of uh, September, uh, we sold 43 postcards on eBay for a total of $314, which is great for just four days. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, let me just adjust my microphone here. Sorry if that's uh, not a great sound, but um, start here. This is Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, this is the Coastal Motel. Uh, you know, for a postcard like this, I'm always going to point out, you know, the cars, the sign, whenever I can. Uh, it is a Chrome postcard, obviously unposted here, Dexter Press, you know, not necessarily the Dexter Press, the publisher. You don't necessarily always got to try to squeeze that into your title and your keywords. But I would definitely put cars or station wagon, classic cars, something along those lines. Uh, I like the colors on these cars, these older ones. Um, very cool. Uh, definitely fun looking at them. They've got, you know, I, li I like the old style of cars, so they're always pretty interesting. And for, you know, motels at, in general as content, for a postcard do sell very well. So uh, maybe not the highest dollar amounts, but they do sell consistently. So this one sold for $6.95 plus a dollar for shipping. All right, so a little, uh, I guess, lesson in keywording. Uh, obviously this is Washington Mon Monument uh, commemorating Washington's bat battle in Princeton, New Jersey. Posted 1926, sort of pre-linen uh, postcard. And let's take a look at my title. Oh my God. Quinton, New Jersey, the Washing Autumn Battle Monument. Vintage postcard. And it sold for a couple of bucks plus shipping. The fact that somebody was able to find this card quite frankly, is a miracle. Two typos in the title, but it did sell uh, for a couple of bucks. And I priced it at that low just because it, it's got somebody peeled off the stamp. It's not the greatest. You know, we got definitely some edges and corners going on here. Uh, my main thing was to sort of zoom in on that. So still very happy with it. And uh, you know what? Even if you make a mistake, uh, sometimes... People still gonna find your stuff. Very nice. Uh, this is Maggie Valley in North Carolina. Uh, nice scene in the fall. I've had and sold many from this location. Uh, I'm not sure where they all came from. 
uh, I believe these may have come out of a uh, the collection I purchased uh, last November. Um, but yeah, very pretty place, Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Uh, Maggie Valley sold for three dollars and fifty six cents plus shipping. Here we have the uh, Licking County Courthouse in Newark, Ohio. Uh, there were quite a few of these out there when I looked them up. It's a nice rotograph company. That's one you definitely, you know, sometimes pretty good to put on um, in a subject line. Uh, I don't believe I did that here, but if you can fit it, uh, people do look for that them as a publisher. Uh, so because there was just so many online, I, I just went for two bucks plus shipping. So it sold for $1.95 plus shipping. Here we have uh, Winter in East Lake Park, Los Angeles, California. We've got the car sort of uh, emerging from the lake. This all seems very familiar. Did I do all these last week? Well, here they are again. Uh, this one sold for $2.66 plus shipping. So state hospitals, mental institutions, uh, sanitariums, all of those things, definitely all very good sellers. Uh, this one as well, despite having the big old black sm smudge right on the front of it, uh, still sold. Uh, divided back era. Uh, obviously, we got the date here on the front and the back, 1908. So yeah, if you've got hospitals, post, you know, in general, doesn't really matter what era. From undivided back all the way up through Chrome, they tend to do very well. Um, again, not necessarily from a value standpoint, but from a, you know, being able to have a customer and clientele base to buy them. Uh, definitely keep an eye out. So this one sold here for three ninety five plus a dollar shipping. So this one here is a modern postcard. Uh, as you can see down here at the bottom, it's the Hawaiian Railway. Uh, it's got the website at the bottom. So it's a modern 2003 production of this photograph. And this is the... Uh, <laughs> troop train on the uh, O sorry O R and L railroad in Honolulu, Hawaii. So you got a big whole bunch of troops. So basically, they they took this vintage photograph and they made postcards out of it. So it's not a reproduction postcard. It is a just a modern postcard. Um, you know, I wasn't trying to fool somebody into thinking this was anything but that that says Chrome postcard. So it's definitely modern. I do have quantity of this one. Um, not a big quantity, but I do have some more. Um, this one sold for $4.95 plus a dollar shipping. The next two went to the, uh, so that one and this one actually went to the same buyer, uh, Aloha from Waikiki. Uh, that basically says the exact same thing in Japanese here. Uh, Roha and then Waikiki. I remember, I remember some of my high school Japanese. So United Airlines postcard. So who's going to buy this? I mean, we've got a bunch of potential customers here. We've got anybody who, you know, likes surfing, likes, collects Waikiki, collects, you know, this one's definitely unique. Um, that it has the Japanese text on there. Um, you know, it's a United Airlines photo. So, you know, there's a lot going for it here. So it sold very, very quickly, um, like 24 hours or less. Uh, and it sold for $5.95 plus a dollar shipping. Here we have Bandstand in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, California. It is not this paint. Not sure why it shows up this pink, and uh, I should have probably taken the time to do some color correction on it or rescan it, but I did not do that. Uh, it did sell though for two ninety five plus shipping, and uh, I did get positive feedback from the customer. 
so it all worked out. Here we have the uh, St. Clair Monument in uh, Greensburg, Pennsylvania. As we can all probably tell here, uh, that this one went out to Miss Daisy Graves in Bertino, California. So this came from the album that I purchased about a year ago. Uh, I recently went in and did a, a few price revisions. Um, changed the price on a bunch of the cards down to $19.95 plus a dollar shipping, took the offer option off of those that I did that for. And this one sold right away after I did that. So very happy with it. I'm way in the black uh, on that pro on that whole purchase now. Um, so definitely uh, very happy for this one. Next up, uh, these two went to the same customer. They sold for the same price. And they came from the same place, which is the lot of postcards that I picked up from uh, Just In Time Flipping, uh, who we do the Friday night uh, three gringos and or two gringos and a lobster show. Uh, they can't seem to decide on a name. Uh, so they're both uh, the Muskegon River and Bridge in uh, Zanesville, Ohio. There was quite a few Zanesville. Uh, postcards, and uh, I listed them all, and these were the first couple that sold. So we have this one here, and this one here, and they both are undivided back from pretty much right about the same time, 1907, lithochromes. I mean, they look almost identical. They're going to the same people. So very interesting. Um, yeah, both sold for two ninety five plus a dollar each for shipping. Here we have. I'm gonna try this one. Kalakaua Avenue. Uh, it's a street view in Waikiki. Uh, again, I I listed a bunch of Hawaii postcards, so I sold a bunch of Hawaii. Postcards. Uh, nice street view. We got some of these classic cars. The uh, restaurant up there, the rotating restaurant. Very cool. Uh, it's really interesting to see some uh, old pictures of Waikiki because this place really boomed in the like 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, beautiful, beautiful chrome postcard though. Sold for $2.95 plus a dollar. Here's one I have uh, quite a few of. This is Lake Tahoe uh, and along the Nevada side. Um, and then it's looking over at the California side at uh, Cave Rock and Talon. So uh, I have many of this card. Uh, I think it is the second to sell. Yeah, I have one left. And uh, it sold for six ninety five plus a dollar shipping. All right, so we've got uh, here's Wisconsin Avenue. Uh, looking east, this is Gimbel's Department Store over here, and Riverside, I think, Theater over here. Uh, so yeah, Wisconsin Avenue, looking east in Milwaukee, sold very quickly. It's a nice street view. Uh, seven dollars ninety-five cents plus a dollar for shipping. Another Hawaii postcard. This is some hula dancers in Hawaii in the 1940s. Again, this is a modern reproduction of an old image. Probably seeing as they're, you know, it's a Yahoo email address on the back here. Canoe cards. It's probably, I'm guessing, early 2000, maybe late 90s. Um, very nice card still sold for four dollars and 46 cents plus a dollar for shipping nice uh night view of the newark airport in newark new jersey new jersey uh yeah anytime you've got a moon full moon crescent moon if you can get that into your title uh and or description definitely do it uh you know, you could have gone with an American Airlines here, spotlights, like there's all kinds of stuff 
you can, you can bring to the attention of your potential buyer. Um, this is a pretty common card, but still sold for $4.95 plus a dollar for shipping. Nice view of Virginia City, Nevada. It's a modern chrome postcard, unposted. So could call this a bird's eye view. You could call it, you know, panorama, I guess, kind of. Um, you know, you video game players might call this a three-quarter view. Uh, in any case, uh, this one sold for $4.95 with $1 for shipping. Here we've got a, another Chrome postcard, Long Beach, California. Ocean Boulevard looking east. So kind of similar to that uh, Milwaukee card, right? It's just a modern Chrome street view. Kind of looking down on the street, we've got some classic cars. We don't really have as much signage in this one, so not quite as you know quite the appeal. Uh, but it is California, and it is Long Beach, and Long Beach and California both sell very well. We do have some classic cars here, although we're not up close and personal. Uh, Four dollars seventy cents plus a dollar for shipping. All right, here we have Commercial Street looking east in Provence Town, Massachusetts, the second home of the famed performer Dina Martina and her daughter for Webby. Uh, nice street view, very. I, I couldn't find any others of this, so I listed high because it is it's got such great color. Even though we've got some postage marks right on the front, it doesn't matter. Uh, just popping colors. It's really good. 1953, very standard sort of message on the back. We are having a good time, a grand time. Minnie and Johnny. Um, so yeah, uh, I had this up, I believe, for $54.95. Uh, somebody sent me an offer for $35. Oh, pardon me, for $29. I had, let, let me back up. I ended up for 35, but they sent me an offer for 29, and I took it. Uh, there's not a lot of $20 plus linen postcards that you run across, so I'm very happy with that. So the next two are the same, uh, basically same subject. Uh, they went to the same customer. Uh, they each sold for $1.95 plus a dollar shipping. Uh, I did, of course, combine shipping at the customer's request, so $1.95 each plus $1 total for shipping. So here we have uh, Far Hills, New Jersey, the Kate Macy Ladd convalescent home. Remember what I said earlier about your hospitals, convalescent homes, sanitariums, and hospitals? So this is the interior. Uh, we've got the grand piano and the ghost of Kate Macy inhabiting this here painting. 1970. And then we've got the grounds, which looks like something out of Shutter Island or The Shining. Um, external view. It is that green. Welcome home. I hope you had a nice visit with Betty and Pat. You're feeling tip top. Yeah, I mean, you know, they probably gave her that electroshock therapy that was popular back then. Anyways, let's see what else we sold. Oh, hey, look at that. It's, uh, some guy on a horse. Uh, so this is a Fred Harvey postcard. Fred Harvey is definitely one of those publishers. Uh, good to get the name into your title if you can do it. Um, it's the Grand Canyon from Angel Trail. Uh, I would not, in a million years, get on a horse on that trail. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm not going to do it. Look at that. It's, you're on a horse, and it's straight down, and you're, what, three feet away from that? Nope. No thanks. I'll pass. Have fun, guys. Unposted Fred Harvey, Foss Tent from Detroit Publishing. So all kinds of good stuff. Probably should have listed it for more, but it sold for five ninety five plus a dollar for shipping. 
Here we've got the People's Church of Chicago. Nice chrome postcard. We got uh, the looks like the pastor Preston Bradley and his super nice brand new Cadillac parked out front of the church. Wonder we worried about the money for that. Unposted chrome postcard. This one here sold for a dollar ninety-five plus a dollar shipping. Do a search for it, you'll see that there's a lot of them. So happy that it was sold. We have a nice linen postcard of West Market Street in Napanee, Indiana. I believe I said that correct. Uh, again, common, but I priced it to sell two dollars ninety-five cents plus. You guessed it. Not you, but the other guy. They guessed it. One dollar for shipping. Uh, I got a hot tip from uh, Jake rooting for relics in our live chat that he was having a lot of success with Albany uh, New York State Capitol building postcard. So uh, I went in my back stock. I found all my state capital of Albany postcards and I listed them all. <laughs> so this one sold for three dollars and ninety-five cents, plus a dollar for shipping. You've got uh, Golden Gate. Uh, so the next two cards actually sold to the same customer. Uh, this one here, Golden Gate, and the Ringling Causeway in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, I, you know, I was growing up here. Uh, I was growing up my my. Uh, Grandparents live in Sarasota. I don't remember if I've been on this here causeway, but maybe I did. No idea. I think I think the causeway is like what left past the Publix, something like that. I don't know. And then we've got another Sarasota, the Municipal Pier and uh, Boats at dusk. This one sold for four ninety five plus shipping. This one sold for two ninety five plus shipping. And uh, look at that. You got a couple of hotels here. You can see right into the Florida room of that person's apartment. Uh, one of the you commenters out there, uh, after I, I sold a different card of the same subject. The Old Man in the Mountains in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. This is uh, Franconia Notch and the Old Man of the Mountains fell uh, relatively recently. I think it was 2018. Um, let's see here. Uh, it was, I'm just looking. When did it fall? Old Man of the Mountains fell in 2003. All right. I was a little off, but it did. It doesn't, it's not there anymore is the point. Uh, still, um, because it's not there, I think there, it, 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 you know, creates the collector's market for it. In general, things that don't exist anymore, people collect. So. Uh, this one sold for $7.95 plus a dollar shipping, and it sold very quickly. Uh, this also came from uh, the just-in-time flipping uh, lot that I purchased. For those of you who tune in to the lives, this was the postcard that went missing earlier this week uh, and turned up in Florida. Not actually in Florida, but in my Florida section of postcards along with several other Chicago postcards. Why was it in Florida? Well, I don't know. Probably uh, just wasn't thinking or wasn't looking and put a pile of Chicago postcards in Florida. Uh, did finally find it. Got a lot of organization done in the product, uh, process. So uh, I kind of don't care what this sold for. Uh, I was just happy that I didn't have to cancel the order. Um, it was combined actually with uh, this one, First Baptist Church in Galesburg, Illinois. Kind of see what this collector was going after. Churches, Illinois. 
Um, grand total of six dollars and twenty-two cents for the two cards, plus a dollar for combined shipping. Georgetown Loop in Colorado. Nice Ed Mitchell publishing postcard. Obviously been mounted in an album for some time. Uh, this one here sold for three dollars and fifty-six cents. Plus one dollar shipping. I guess I could say like PODS plus one dollar shipping. It's like it's like PSOT. Yeah, let's give it a try on the next one. Let me know what you think. Oh, it's not PSOT. It's PODS plus one dollar shipping. Yep. All right. All right. Now I got it. We'll try it. Here we've got a train load of copper ore in Butte, Montana. Unposted postcard. This one here sold for $5.95. PDOS. PODS. I love this postcard. I don't collect them. If I collected them, I would keep this one. I love this postcard. It is so just weird and cute and awesome. I love that uh, it's this little girl in snowshoes in a dress. So she's wearing a little a little dress in the snow with a hood, and she's got a holly brooch, like pointy poisonberry holly on her shirt, and then she's like. I'm going to put out my hand, and the squirrel is just going to sit there and be like, I'm a squirrel. Yeah. It looks like it could be a clap saddle, but I don't think it is. Maybe it is. If you if you, if you got proof, let me know. Um, also, I think very interesting on this one that uh, you've got... You know this whole thing and then right here in behind her arm they didn't this is wrong they didn't fill the background correctly why is it bright orange behind her in between her arm and her body i don't normally notice stuff and i don't think i noticed that till now still interesting so yeah this one sold for 1333 pdos We've got a uh, vintage linen postcard. This is the Pines to Palm Highway in Southern California. I don't think they call it this anymore, but maybe they do. If you live there, let me know. Do they call it this? Unposted linen postcard. Yeah, I mean, that's super remarkable. It, the, what's the most interesting about this card is that the border is gray. Uh, you don't see it terribly often. That's less common than like your yellow or white borders on a linen postcard. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say about this one. It sold for six dollars and twenty-five cents. Pods. Next up, uh, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. It's uh, Eastport, Idaho, the Kingsgate, British Columbia. Customs and Chevron Station. Uh, anytime you've got a, you know, visible gas pumps, gas station signs, gas stations, that stuff, point it out. Point it out. People like to see that stuff. Look at this. Gateway service. We've got the nice Texco button sign. We've got the Chevron with the wings and the turn of the road down to the border. So, uh, this one here sold for five dollars and thirty six cents. PDOS. I, I messed it up again. PODS. Uh, another Fred Harvey postcard. Now, Fred Harvey, you know, obviously chain of hotels. Uh, they produce postcards for 
just about half a century, right? We saw one earlier that goes all the way back to the early 1900s, and now we're here in, uh, I think, the 40s, right? 1940s, right here. So very cool. This is shows all the Fred Harvey locations. So not only did they uh, publish postcards, um, they published postcards because they were a chain of hotels and dining stations, which were the perfect place uh, for your roadside rest stop to sell the postcards. That kind of entrepreneurship and go-getterness is the American way. Thank you, Fred Harvey. Thank you for being an American. This one sold for $4.95. P.O.D.S. We've got the Queen Anne Hotel. Uh, you know, this one I looked at. There was a bunch out there. I didn't list it. This is months ago. I got it's so cool though, but there's so many. I'll never get anybody to buy it. And then standard envelope came along. I lowered my floor price. I was listing it with a bunch of other North Carolina postcards, and I was like, hey, I have time to list it. So I did, and it sold for $2.00. 66 cents. Beauteous. Uh, here's another sort of quick lesson in keywords. This is the Mason's George Washington statue in Wallingford, Connecticut. It's a nice chrome postcard. Uh, if you got a Mason's thing, always say you got a Mason's thing. The Mason's like their things. So I said Masons, Masonic, George Washington statue, and want to see something else that's hilarious. I listed this less than a week ago. All right. We already saw that Princeton postcard. I mean, the Pineton postcard. Oh, look at this. Masons, Masonic, George Washington. You know what's even worse about this? I live in Washington. I live in the name of this place. I've typed this word a million times. Why? Why? And twice people found it, regardless. You know why? They weren't looking for the Washington. They were looking for the Mason. There you go. We're through the looking glass now, people. Three dollars and ninety-five cents. Pods. Here we've got the Chapel of Grace in San Francisco, California. Nice. Undivided back of postcard. It's not a real photo. It's just a very nice gray tone image. Uh, this one here sold for five dollars and ninety-five cents. P.O.D.S. Very nice comic postcard. I dig this one quite a bit. I really do like it. Uh, fantastic color on it. That blue really does pop. I don't think the scan does it quite justice unposted sort of risque with the knickers sticking out of the water uh fell in with something nice here well you sure did uh this one here sold for 14.95 plus overseas shipping here we have a view of the from reservoir hill uh looking out in allegheny let me try that again. View from reservoir, res, view from reservoir hill, looking out Allegheny, in it's Allegheny Street. Maybe it's time to end this video. Belafonte, Belafonte, Belafont. I want to say Belafonte, Pennsylvania. Wow, we did it at last. Uh, for a postcard that sold so well, uh, this one sold for $35 less shipping. Uh, first class shipping, not PODS. First class shipping. Here we've got a real photo postcard of a drawing. Uh, this is the uh, McPherson County Courthouse in Leola, South Dakota. Unposted, this came from that collection of real photo postcards of courthouses that I bought last summer. 
This one sold for $15.96. Beauteous. And finally, the corner of 12th and Broadway, Red Lodge, Montana, on Highway 12, northeast entrance to Yellowstone National Park via beautiful Beartooth Highway. We got the Beartooth Cafe here. We got some nice cars. It's a little postcard. It's a street view. It's in Montana, but it's a Yellowstone postcard. So you're going to get a lot of people who could be interested in this car. So this one sold for $4.46. And you know what? That is it for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. 35 minutes. Look at that. We're, we're doing good already. And I was blabbing on. So thank you so much for watching. We'll be back here in a couple of days with the next part of this. It'll probably be dropping on Wednesday. And uh, thank you all for watching. If it's your first time here, again, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification if you like this kind of content. There's some other ways you can support the channel down there. And we'll see you in a few days. Thanks.